Okay, in this video we're going to see how we can archive uh, up a page using the Kamala workflows add-on. And what we have here is another archive space called Archive Space 2. And here's our test page in the test space home. And it has a workflow of in progress, approved, and archived. And currently we're in the approved state. So in the SIL manager we have our script and our script just double checks to make sure we're not already in the archive space. Checks the Kamala state using this Kamala get state um, routine. And then it adds a comment to the page moving to an archive space. It gets the ID of the archive homepage, and then it moves it to that space. But in order to do that, we need to set it up as a SIL listener. Oops. Let's delete this first. All right, we'll try that again. We need to set it up as a SIL listener. So let's come down to our SIL listeners. We'll open it up here. And we need to add a listener. And these are the events that get triggered out of Confluence. But the ones we're looking for are these Kamala events. And we're looking for a Kamala state change. So whenever the workflow changes, it'll trigger this script. And we don't need to set these other two. We can just leave those as is and hit save. So here it is set up, our, our script. and the event and now when we come into the test page we'll just refresh okay we're still in the approved status and we're going to archive and we're going to hit submit and now we're in the archive status but when I refresh the page again notice we're in the archive we're in the archive space now and we have this comment so the page has now been archived. And then the space can then be archived. And that is it. That is all there is to archiving a page using the Kamala workflows.